we're in a very open, transparent world, right? Consumers have a lot of choices. You're not going to fool people. You either, you, know, you could choose to do things right or not right, right? And so, in my opinion, do we want to be successful at the practice level? Yes. Do we want to be successful at the enterprise level? Yes. The way to do it is doing what's right for people. Aspen Dental spends more money on marketing than any other dental organization on the planet. And um, you guys have figured out this patient acquisition strategy, uh, almost the art and the science of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, not, it's not that easy. It's not just throwing money at something right. and you're going to get patients right. to come in. Uh, what has been your thinking around marketing and the importance of it in terms of patient acquisition? Well, like anything else, you're creating awareness. I mean, you see marketing all over, all around you, right? So again, if you go back to sort of the original thesis, brand forward strategy, sure. creating awareness to consumers in a way, in a differentiated way, to let them know they have choices, right? And when you think about that, like when someone has, when they finally get to the point and say, "Hey, listen, I want to come into the dental office. I have a problem. I want to change my looks. I want to," where do they go, right? And if you're in front of them. Hopefully, you're making a compelling case right. to say, "Come to us," right? Because I think, you know, in many cases, we're not really competing for private practice patients. Sure. As you said earlier, there's a there's a big portion of the population that doesn't see the dentist on a regular basis, right? Because this little thing like life gets in the way, right? And they're making hard choices every day. I grew up in a family very much like that, right? Right? And and you know, other parts of healthcare, you break an arm, you're probably going to get fixed, right? You got a little problem with your mouth. You might say, eh, not today. Right. You know, I got to put food on the table, pay for my kids' education, car right. payments, mortgage payments, inflation, you know, all this stuff's going through their mind. They're making real choices every day. Sure. And unfortunately, they push it off, they push it off, they push it off until they can't push it off any longer. And that's why I go back to, that's our brand's moment of truth and how will our organization behave for that particular patient. And so being, having awareness in the market at the time of consideration we think is really important. Um, and it's been a part of our DNA uh, since the beginning, and um, the brand affords us the opportunity to, to do that and also do it really efficiently. I don't know how other DSOs do it when they're not brand forward, because I, right. I would imagine the talent, the patient acquisition strategy is going to be hard. It's yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. And what, what does your brand brands. stand for? Yeah, what, yeah well, how do you how do you manage all that? So we've been big believers in in sort of the brand forward strategy. It works out really well for us and. And I don't think anybody acquires as many patients as we do. It's one of the value, big value propositions that we provide to the providers, right? And uh, because you know, bringing people through the door is important. So, a related question to marketing is is really the, and you've talked about this quite a bit in our interview today, is the journey of the customer, right? There's so many things that have to happen, right? The customer has to have a need, and they have to fulfill that need by searching something most right. likely on their mobile device right. Right. then you have to show up right then they have to like what they see then then they have to like what they see then they have to call you text yeah. you yeah. make an appointment yeah and then they have to show up yeah and then when they show up they have to feel good enough yeah to be able to say all right well i'm going to do this yeah and then they have to pay and then they have to go and, ref and refer friends and family and everybody else our hope is yeah our hope is right <laughs> all of that stuff how do you look at that journey, do you, have you mapped it all um, yeah. at Aspen and, and, and do you, how do you optimize it for what the What you just experience? described is the patient funnel. Right. How are you managing the top of the funnel and right. the acquisition? Where are they coming through the funnel? What's the mid part of the funnel look like? Are they showing up? Right. What's the bottom of the funnel looking like? Are they accepting care? Right. Do they come back? Right. When you take a look at the funnel and manage each piece, and then go back to the analytic story that we just shared in the previous segment. How are you assessing each part of those funnels and where we're having real success? Maybe we're having some problems in the funnel. And then what do you apply against the funnel to make sure that that customer journey that you're solving? So is there weakness in show up rate? Why? Are we communicating in the right, in the right way? Right. In that, you know, right. So they made the appointment. Yeah. Do we need to communicate before they come in? How we communicate with them? All those things are super important. And so again, it's all learnings. Right, and you iterate, you iterate, but we know what's important. We know the patient, 
and making sure that that journey works for them is really, really critical and it has big, profound impacts on the practice and obviously the, uh, the larger business, the larger enterprise. Because if you don't look at it, right, the patient could fall off anywhere in the funnel and you're like, okay, well, we spent all that money driving this lead in and, and, and either there, I mean, the phones is a big thing. I know you guys do a lot with phones and, and trying to understand what prevents that patient from, from, from taking you're the next step. Constantly trying to figure out the consumer habits, making sure that you're meeting them what their needs are and learning through each part of that funnel to make sure that you can execute in each, in each section of the funnel. It's really critical, including, by the way, this goes back to culture. Do our teams understand who this patient is? Are they passionate about it? Do they understand the purpose, the culture, all those things? Because they can get through the door, but if you don't understand that patient, if you don't understand as a team that you're trying to change their life, Absolutely. getting to them to accept care, then that whole thing could fall apart. So every, every aspect of the funnel is really critical and it's what we work on every day. It is so inspiring to, to you to talk about it because the, the perception sometimes is these DSOs come in and, and really are just profit-minded machines. Well, but, now you're going to get me going. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think we could have a whole, and, and, and all of a sudden, the entire conversation today has been about delivering the best care at the best value and inspiring team members to reach their full potential. And that's the only conversation we've had. And that's the only conversation that's important in the DSO space. And I'm so happy to hear it. It, yeah. it really is. Well, think about it this way. If it's like, listen, you're not going to fool people. Right. We're in a very open, transparent world, right? Consumers have a lot of choices. You're not going to fool people. You, either, you, know, you could choose to do things right okay. or not right, right? And so, in my opinion, do we want to be successful at the practice level? Yes. Do we want to be successful at the enterprise level? Yes. The way to do it is doing what's right for people. Right. That's it, right? When you do what's right for a human being, it comes through your door in a way that can change their life. That's the special stuff. And if you can have a successful business as a result of helping someone else, I'm all in. <laughs>